Well, here she is, the 2011 Ferrari 612 Scaglietti. I've had a lot of demand uh, for a, a detailed sort of overview of the car. So I said I'll make this video so I can show people what this car is really all about. Open the garage for some better light. So this car was one of the last Scaglietti's to roll off the factory floor. This came out in winter of 2010, early 2011, hit the showroom and that's where it got snatched up by yours truly. Now this wasn't a custom order, I saw this on the showroom floor, fell in love with the color, with the spec, and went for it. This car has a 5.7 liter V12 front engine. Um, it pushes out around 540 horsepower. It uh, does uh, 60 in around 4 seconds, which is quite quick. Um, it has um, the Formula One semi-automatic gearbox didn't come I didn't get it in the manual um, this is the facelifted version there was a, a midlife facelift the color is Grigio Silverstone um, and the interior is Rosso so it's all red leather interior see here the window buttons seats The steering wheel, the Ferrari logo imprint in the leather seat headrest. So this is a family-friendly Ferrari. So you do have sort of sort of two by two. Um, the rear seats are useful, uh, not as they're, they're more spacious than the turbo. I'll tell you that much. Bose uh, speaker system. And you have your coat rack if you want to hang your jacket. Red seat belts to match. Moon roof have a seat. Here's the badge that pays homage to 31 Formula One titles and that Ferrari had won by the time this car was made. Here you have the steering wheel, carbon fiber. It's really nice but it gets quite hot in the sun. Um, the horn, these two activate the horn. Start the engine, you hold the button in, you have to put the key in first though. This is the Manatino. So this came with the facelifted uh, Scaglietti. The uh, the previous, uh, the first generation of the Scaglietti came with the buttons on either side. Here the Manatino you can activate between comfort, sport, or hold this down in for traction off. Um, and that's if you really want to kill yourself and ride off your beautiful car. Uh, <laughs> But, you know, I, I wouldn't, for an inexperienced driver or for uh, somebody who's too enthusiastic, I wouldn't recommend it. Um, a little tour of the inside. This is the fire extinguisher. Here you have your ashtray, which obviously I never use. A little, uh, little uh, compartment here. You see I have the turbo key and I have keys to a Range Rover. Um... Let me take you on a little tour of the engine here. Open the engine, put it in here. Let's have a look at it, it's a beautiful engine. Definitely a work of art. Now this car, as you know, is called the 612 Scaglietti. Sergio Scaglietti was a coach builder in the 50s, based in Modena, and they built the uh, they, they, he, he had earned, uh, through his good work, earned uh, Enzo Ferrari's trust and respect and uh, started to develop uh, components and, car, uh, and parts for the uh, Formula One Ferrari racing cars back in the 50s and 60s. Now, as you know, uh, Scaglietti, is owned, uh, sorry, Scaglietti is owned by Ferrari um, and they designed, the, they, they, they built the 430 and the, the 612. 
Uh, you see, it's a beautiful, beautiful engine. Wonderful piece of work. This is Italian fine art at its best. Um, the designer of this car, obviously this is designed by Pininfarina. The designer of this car had uh, initially designed the new Mini um, back in the early part of the uh, decade. Uh, and he had also designed, then he went off, he left Pininfarina and he went off to design the uh, MP412C uh, McLaren. If you want to open the fuel tank to fill up, you push this button in, you want to open the the boot, push that button in. Let's have a look at the boot. Let's not forget that this is a Ferrari. So, uh, you know, it, it is Italian, so she is quite sensitive. This is the boot. This is where I charge her. Um, if you keep this car parked for over two weeks without starting or using her, um, then you'll come back to a, potentially a dead battery. So keep her plugged into the wall. Uh, while you're on vacation or while you don't use the car. As I mentioned, this is the HGTC uh, version of the car. Um, it comes with the sports exhaust. Uh, you have the carbon ceramic brakes, sports suspension, sports uh, transmission, upgraded transmission. Um, and it just sounds phenomenal. Let's start her up. forget that this is a although it's a family friendly Ferrari it's still a Ferrari uh, it's a single clutch transmission so it is a bit jerky but it gets you engaged and involved and you really really feel it um, so this is to get out of auto mode this is for F1 Sport you want to put her in reverse you lift this up push it back now you're in reverse you have the reverse camera working there as well that's quite a neat feature in the car uh, I'm not saying that the car has many blind spots, it's actually okay, but um, this is a feature that, uh, that is definitely useful. Um, uh, okay, so just to, this is the sensor here. Uh, now, this is another neat feature of the car. So, you see the moonroof. This is a lever here, which you can, um, you can make it uh, more clear or you can make it darker. So now it's on the darkest uh, setting, you see, and if I turn turn this all the way to the other side, the roof uh, starts to clear up um, and uh, it becomes more, it lets in more light into the cabin. So I'll wait for a minute for that to happen uh, while I take you around here. This is the glove compartment, your iPod connector fiber finish this is uh, to change the display if you want to check your tire pressure you want to check uh, the, the, the temperature in the car uh, the, the engine temperature the oil temperature these are all very important to check on a Ferrari especially in a hot climate like this one uh, in the summertime it gets quite hot outside as you can see it's 40 degrees Celsius right now um, and it's only 825 a.m. 
Uh, by noon, it gets up to high 40s. So uh, you got to keep your eye on the temperature clock. If you're stuck in traffic, uh, just leave some room between your car and the car in front of you so that your car can breathe. Um, so these little things that you get used to when owning a Ferrari. Um, and you know, honestly, it doesn't bother me at all. Okay, so we have the sat nav. We have a uh, six CD changer. Um, now this entertainment system, I heard that they've improved it in the newer Ferraris and I really hope they did because uh, to be honest, sometimes it freezes, sometimes it jams a little bit um, and it, um, it sometimes it's annoying to you. So if you're, if, you're, if you're playing a song on your iPod and um, then you switch off the car and you go do, some, do your thing and then you come back and you turn it on again, your iPod starts from that song but then the next song is not the next song on that particular playlist it actually goes back to the main general uh, playlist so your next song might be a random song that you haven't heard in 10 years and it's just on your iPod and you forgot to remove it so then you have to go and activate the playlist again access the playlist again and then it's a bit of a headache but it's okay I mean honestly with a with an engine like this with an exhaust tune like that you don't really need um, you don't really need music you have a look at the roof again you see it's cleared up now it's completely uh, see-through um, so it lets in now the maximum amount of light. So you can regulate that either full, medium, or you know, total darkness. I like to keep it dark because I don't want that much light to come in. Air conditioning on and off uh, through here, obviously, but you can regulate how strong you want it or how weak you want it this way. Um, open the door. That's how you open the door. If you want to hear some noise. That's just enough to piss off your neighbors. <laughs> anyway, uh, well, this is her. Um, this is my tour. I hope you enjoyed it. These are really, really special cars and they need to be treated with respect and love. Um, I hope you all have a good day and I really hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.